Space exploration in the 21st century is truly international and that's something that not even Trump and Putin can really mess up now. This exhibition behind me is Tim Peake's Sawyer's module, his re-entry module. And I've come here to Peterborough Cathedral, so sorry if sometimes the uh, sound is a little bit unclear because they're playing the organ as well. But it's a wonderful setting to see this thing. Tim Peake was our first British astronaut. He wasn't the first British person in space. He's the first kind of truly British funded astronaut. Soyuz capsules are the Russian the spacecraft and they are currently the only way to and from space. So every astronaut that flies to the ISS has to fly in a Soyuz capsule. This is one of the reasons why we have to keep good relations with the Russians if we're going to keep our scientific links. It fascinates me about the ISS because of the risks that the astronauts take. Re-entry is a whole lot of energy management, okay, so there needs to be a lot of energy analysis going in to making sure that you have a safe re-entry. And Tim Peake says that the launch was actually just a pretty smooth ride, really, because you get a kind of gradual acceleration. So it was acceleration to 25 times the speed of sound. Doesn't sound that smooth to me, and it always amazes me how calm astronauts sound when they're sitting on top of the Soyuz rockets and they're going through that kind of acceleration. But re-entry was a wild ride, is what he said. <laughs> Up there in space you've got a whole lot of gravitation potential energy and that's all going to be converted into kinetic and we need to get rid of it somewhere otherwise we're going to hit the ground very very fast. So the only thing to do is to transfer that into a thermal store, a thermal store of the surroundings and a thermal store of the spacecraft. Re-entry is more of a violent experience. One by one parachutes open and you get these sudden decelerations and you get thrown around. You can imagine that Soyuz capsule being thrown around as it re-enters into the atmosphere, as it goes through all those different stages of deceleration and and it looks a pretty cramped, uncomfortable place to be, being thrown about in every single direction. I'm sure you have to be a pretty special person to be an astronaut. The spacesuit that's on show here, Tim Peaks, is uh, not for like a spacewalk. It's not a full-on spacesuit for going out into space. It's a pressure suit for that re-entry. It gives two hours of life support if there's a sudden loss of pressure in that Soyuz module on its way down. So it is not a full kind of spacesuit. The larger ones that we'd be used to seeing the astronauts on their spacewalks. There's a pressure regulator and a pressure gauge and there is kind of gas piping all around the abdomen and the legs, like a bit like a G-suit to ensure that blood stays where it should be and importantly, blood doesn't rush from the head to the rest of the body because that's a bad time. You know, there's so much GPE when you're high up there. <laughs> All that GP has to be transferred eventually into a thermal store, and hence the scorch marks. Hence you can see it's kind of been melted around the corners as the flames have licked past that heat shield at the very bottom. It's a fascinating thing to see, and it's really good. The Science Museum and Samsung actually uh, put this thing on. I'd really like Samsung to be focusing on their foldable smartphones for me though, please. That was awesome, and uh, well, my daughter wants to be an astronaut, so that was really good for her to see. Space fascinates me. It's an example of how science is truly international. Many people from all around the world work together to make the International Space Station the giant experiment that it is. And the only way to and from space is currently the Russian Soyuz module. The only way to and from space for people. And for me, re-entry is a really good example of thermal physics, a really good example of energy analysis that you need for your GCSE and your A-level. <laughs>